Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Give It A Shot. Give It A Shot is a first impression series where I play a game I've never played before and I see if it's worth playing a little bit more. Up today on Give It A Shot, get packed, fully loaded. I'm playing on Google Stadia via my pro subscription. We got a little campaign here. We got a little character select here. Well, I like Jay just fine, but how about Kirsten or Rika or Johnson? <laughs> Ditchlington, home of the pickled hot dog, 12,000 souls, and the world's largest deposit of rock salt. Mm. Ditchlington was a town of family burrows and businesses. Until 1997, when a handshake took place between the Ditchlington mayor and the CEO of Industrial Salt Incorporated. Well, wow. After that handshake, Industrial Salt owned everything. The condiment giant wasted no time evicting the northern suburbs. Every home would be demolished to make room for a mechanized salt mine, executive car park, and novelty gift shop. But unknown to Industrial Salt, Inside one of these doomed abodes lived four unlikely heroes. Well, well. Stage one, eviction, campaign, capture and pack the cat. Okay, so it's, it's moving out, essentially. We played moving out a whole bunch uh, during one of the extra life uh, I think I want to say 20, 20, 2020. Grab what we can. We don't have long. Okay, well, let's capture the cat. Get back here. Get back here. I, 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 <laughs> grab with left hand. Got him. Alrighty. So what do, what do I do with this now? I'll grab with the right hand. Okay. Oh, whoops. There we go. Wait, hold on. So I have this cat. Uh, B to dash. I, I noticed... So this is just moving out. It even looks similar to moving out. Visually. Yeah. And we're, we're gonna have to, like, Tetris the items all in here. Huh. Well, um... Oh wait, the cat. Whoa! Oh, that was it? Oh, so I didn't get the cat? Oh, okay, well I have another shot at the cat. Get back here. Grab any object with both hands and hold X to flat pack. Both hands hold on a flat pack. Ah, okay. Hey, get back here. Get back here. Get in there and stay in there. Wait. I thought I told it. Deliver items shown on the bottom right before the time. Oh! Okay. Alright. Whoops. Hold on. Three. What? What on earth? There's a lot of stopping and starting in this. Okay, so here's that. Uh huh. So I should have packed a lot more in, or is it going to give me a new item? Okay, all right, I, all right, I get it. So we did the little tutorial, and now it's the real game. Me. Strong young man, really whipping that bed. Okay, so I want to be outside of the thing when I send it. So that I can, like, do some other stuff.
I mean, I normally I normally compare games to other games that I've played. That comes with the territory of playing as many games as I've played. But this is just exactly moving out. Uh, hello? Okay. So, like, we need to break it out of its shell, so to speak. And then we need to grab it. Yeah, this is just straight up another game that already existed. And so soon, too. Like, moving out didn't... Moving out is not an old game. Alright, so I'm gonna bring, like, something extra in my other hand. Okay. I'm gonna bring something extra, and then we'll see if it's just, like... If we get more points, if, it, if that's it... It is playing well on Stadia. I don't have my VPN on, and I'm hardwired into my um thing, my modem. Come on. Am I supposed to be holding this to? Oh, okay. So should I- I should, like, move some extra stuff in there, right? Before the timer goes out on that? Okay, yeah. Alright, I, I get it. It's not a complicated title. Um, I would like to get, like, you know, one more maybe big item in before the end. Oh. How about the bridge? No? Okay, well, I'll take it. it uh, uh, that's all right, I guess. That was some top quality packing. Give me a hand with my place, will ya? Great. Do we get a little story tidbit? Removalist safety traffic control tutorial. Okay. Well, I should hope that we put the moving truck not across the street. You have plenty of yard that we could pack that in. Um. Okay, I'm gonna take the stop sign. Please. Ow! Oh! Get up, get up, man! We gotta get the oven! That's a nice house. Good layout. Grab it with both hands. No, grab that with both hands. It's like purposefully... Not very responsive or good. <laughs> okay. Um... Well, that's gonna have to be fine for right now. I take that too. All right. Yeah. I take the tree. No, no such luck. Here we're gonna we're gonna borrow this from the city. I'm sure it won't mind. Look out! <laughs> okay. Ah. Oh, I, I'm getting... Oh, wow, I'm getting massively penalized for that. Grab that with your other... Thank you. Well, I'm probably not gonna make it out on this one. There you go. Let's send a tire in for good measure. Um, yeah, okay. We'll do, like, a little house plant. Yeah, it seems impossible to get to any positive state in this now. Would you please grab it with your other hand as well? No? 
Alrighty, well, let's go ahead and get this. With at least one of your hands there, friend. Oh, we have 20 seconds left. Can I grab that? No. Here we go. We'll try to get uh, these two. Okay, guess not. All right. Yeah. Okay. I don't have any agency here. It's just zoomed out. You call that packing? Fired. Okay, everyone. Well, thank you for joining me for Give It A Shot. This is no doubt going into a multi-game XL. This was called Get Packed, and it is the exact same thing as moving out to a T. It is a local multiplayer party game where you try to load up a moving truck, and there are, like, little extra things that you can do. It's exactly the same. I, I don't know. I thought moving out was fine enough uh, with other people. Maybe this would be sufficient with other people, but for right now, I, I didn't have any fun with this at all, and I'll never play it again. Thanks again for joining me. I'm going to see you guys for whatever the next thing is. Goodbye. Okay, everyone. Well, hello and welcome to Give It A Shot. Give It A Shot is a first impression series where I play a game I've never played before. And I see if it's worth playing a little bit more. Up today on Give It A Shot is Race With Ryan. The deluxe mode. The super du duper time. Just quick race. Choose the track. So I don't... You're full of toys. Okay. I don't know who Ryan is. Car. I hope he's not like a make-a-wish kid, because I, I don't want to say anything bad about him, because he appears to be a child, a real-life child. I'm going to be this. Medium is fine. Do you really think you can win? Reptiles will once again dominate the planet. Okay, hi Gus, how are you? That's a little monster. Okay, great. So that that is the titular Ryan. Drive, and this is a game that I guess he created. <laughs> I'm going very, very slowly. Is there Okay, there is a drift style. Okay, whoa. Oh my gosh, drift is a little aggressive. Hello Ryan, how are you? So, I'm in, uh, I guess I'm in, okay, I'm in first. Let's do that, a little explosive egg there. I'm playing on Google Stadia. Oh, yeah. All right, Ryan, I don't need your appreciation for everything I do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a little slow. <laughs> it's a little slow on the slow side. Oh yeah. Okay, let's do the glue. Let's do the soccer ball. A uh, course design seems interesting. Two laps to go. It is. I gotta be honest with you. It is. I mean. It's playing okay, but it's just, um, you know, it's a racer made for kids. So whereas, as you might think, like, well, Mario Kart is a racer made for kids. This is like a racer made for super kids. Or, like, just really young kids. He has to be a YouTuber or a TikToker. Uh, but even so, I, I don't really... Yeah. Okay, I have cheeseburgers. I don't agree with a lot of um, family YouTube channels. There's uh, Historically, there's a, been a lot of abuse. And monetizing your children in that way is not really something I can get behind. But whatever, man, you know, who am I to judge? This little kid's probably rich and spoiled, and his parents probably are making bank just on the fact that they have a kid who's marketable. I'm gonna take the other way here. Awesome. 
There is some auto steering. Okay. All right. I mean, like I said before, the course design's kind of fun. Little kids' room, multiple paths. Very bright, very colorful. The moment-to-moment -moment racing is a little on the boring side. This, uh, this little boy keeps popping up and saying, oh, yeah. Oopsie doodle. Yeah! Yeah! My question is, if you had a kid, why would you play this and not just play Mario Kart? Okay, well, I forgot to start my timer. Great. Great. I could do better. Well, okay. I welcome you to try to do better. We got Pilot Ryan. Play alone. Yippee. Just quick. Oh, there's a career so mode. A pizza cup. Toy Master. Formula fruit and hook pry. Hook pry. I was saying hook pry. Hook pry. Hookah. Royal race. There's Ryan and his parents. Hopefully, Ryan is still with us. Pizza cup. Okay. Well, I mean, that's something. I don't want to play a whole cup of it. Let's just do one more race, I think. Full of toys. Wow. Are these supposed to, in the black, is that supposed to be a preview of the race? Because I'm not seeing any of it. Alright, an amusement park full of surprises. Ghosts and spiders. Spooky land. Brave enough. Are you brave enough? Let's go shopping! In oh wow, you can make this uh, uh, any sort of episode you want, huh? Right. Give it a shot. Alright, you know, I, I'll do one more race. I'll do a race in the spooky time. Fun land. I'm gonna be Choo Choo Gus, Jeez. and I'm gonna play on medium like mode. The best. There's no hope against me. It's time to do what it says on the box. Race with me. Oh, brother. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Spooky Land forward. Here we go. Oh boy, I'm not getting the timing right on that. Woohoo! Look at paper airplane. Steamroller. Are they are the pickups eggs because he started as an egg opening channel? I know that that was very, very big when I was in, like, a, maybe a p little post-college. That was really, really big. Well done. Like 2014, 2015-ish is when kids were opening up surprise eggs and surprise baskets. And that would raise the question, how old is this kid? You know, he's not going to be young forever. Yeah. How are you going to market him when he grows older? I don't know. If he's on a social media platform, I'm sure he's their shining bright boy. And they will find a way to, to push his content further. I have nothing against the kid. I, whatever. Really, you know, as long as the parents aren't abusing him, I have nothing against the parents either. You, you make your, make your hustle, make your money, whatever. Whoa. But that doesn't mean I can't be a little bit like 
Am I going the wrong way? The music isn't... Okay, I am going the wrong way. Wow. Wouldn't you know it. Well, that's what I get. I'm in sixth place now. Oh, wait. I, I... Okay, I went that way last time. Oh, boy. I, I know it's my own fault. Wait, this way? I think I went this way last time. Interesting course again. Oh, nice. Look at that. Bada boom. We did it again. The golden boy. Nice enough graphical style to it. I don't know. I'm 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 stretching, but I'm trying to be fair and objective here. You are here. A champion. Thank you. And this is not the first game made for children I played. Was a cat -tastrophe. Why I came in first? The power pack. All right, I'm playing one more. I'm playing one more. Choose the track. A world full of Let's toys. do a... I want to do a Christmas level. And I'm going to do the power pack. Because he's a penguin, it looks like. Are you there, guys? I'm here, buddy. We'll see who the fastest is. Oh, dear. Oh, another very interesting course. The graphical fidelity doesn't quite match what the game is. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I don't. I don't say that to be mean. But it's like you go to to a developer and you say like, I need a little baby racing game. And they're like, okay, we'll pull out all the stops. Like, it looks really nice. Whoa. I bet they have a documentary wherever this kid is famous. And it's like, he had all the say in the courses. And he's like, I want big snowman yeah. course. And they're like, okay, how do you like this? He's like, oh, polar bear. <laughs> Lots to go. I want a scary course with spiders. Awesome. Okay, yeah, sure. Here's this. More spiders. Okay, okay, chill. Yeah. I kind of wish the character I was playing as would have the little jump ups. Like it's always Ryan. But I would like my penguin to pop up and say like, oh yeah. Move out of my way. Move out of my way. Whoa. Whoa. Oops, I think I took this path last time. No, I maybe not. Activate your shield. I, I mean, the forking pads is is pretty cool too. Awesome. Last lap. I'm very far ahead of anyone at this point. Well, I feel like I should have cleared that, but I guess not. Oh yeah. Wah. Is that my penguin? My penguin goes. Wah. Thank you. <laughs> it is my bang when he goes, oh, 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 oh. oh. Here we go. I definitely know that I've hit all the available paths now. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. That'll do it. I don't want to skip the the little character interactions at the end. 
but I wouldn't mind skipping this particular part where it shows my penguin. You having won the race. Okay, fine, I'll skip it. Nope, skip didn't do anything. You really are a champion. Thank you. Now, how are your characters? This was not one of my best days. Okay, finally, a little humility from the cat. Okay, you know, I'm gonna end it there. Uh, there's, there's nothing here for me that is very clear. I think if you have a child who wants to get into gaming and wants to play a racing game, there are a lot of better options out there. That being said, the course designs were incredible. The racing was a little bit slow. The power-ups weren't that interesting at all. I think if you got this developer to work on a racing game that was a little more grown up, and a little faster and a little more exciting, that would be a really good racing game. This, however, is not really that great. Do with that what you will. Thanks for joining me for Give It A Shout. I'm gonna see you guys in whatever the next section of this video is. Goodbye. Okay, everybody, welcome back to Give It A Shout. Give It A Shout is a first impression series where I play a game never played before, and as he was we're playing a little bit more Ben 10 Power Trip up today on Give It A Shot. New game sounds fine. Ugh, I'm starving! We stopped for food 20 minutes ago. You call that food? Come on, Ben. Can't you try to appreciate the unique culture around you? Your cousin is right, Ben. I mean, who knows when we'll get to have freshly roasted liverwurst again. Maybe a cheeseburger doesn't sound so bad. Uh, Grandpa, did you forget what side of the road to drive on again? Oops. <laughs> Thank you, Gwen. Hey, I'll have this down by the end of our European adventure. Whoa! What was that flash? Eh, probably just lightning. There's not a cloud in the sky. Let's go check it out. Ugh, this better not be another incredible historical land. It came from this way. What is that? Hex! Ben Tennyson? Here to foil my <laughs> brilliant plan. Let's see how you do without the help of your ridiculous aliens! What did you do? Feeling outmatched. Imagine how you'll feel when I found the other three power crystals. With their energy combined, I, I shall be, be unstoppable. unstoppable! You won't get away with this, Hex. Ben, are you okay? I'm fine, but my aliens... That crystal is no joke if it was able to damage the Omnitrix. Hex must have dropped this. I've never seen inscriptions like this before. Maybe it has some clues about those crystals he mentioned. Oh, hold Should on. I'm, aid, I'm turning you down, friend. Attic. You're a little too loud, buddy. We just had a pretty close call, but everyone is fine. Good. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna actually skip a lot of that. Uh, I don't know anything about Ben 10 at all. I, I'm not interested. I never was. It was a little after my time growing up. I was I was kind of over this uh, type of television show, so I don't know anything about it. Um, I will say his name is Ben Tennyson. Tennyson. Does that not strike you as sort of weak writing? We're gonna call Bed Ted. Uh, he's gonna have Ted aliens. His name's Bed Ten. His name's Ben Tennyson. 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 Whatever his name is. <laughs> I just that struck me as a little silly. Um, so it's a yes. 3D platformer. So far, so good. Right. I know he transforms into aliens. So that should be fine. I imagine we'll use the, the alien powers in certain platforming puzzles. Uh, maybe a little ro- not roguelike, maybe a little Metroidvania influence of like, come back when you have this power. I will say for a, a, for a, a human child, he has an incredible vertical leap. Look at this. Could you imagine jumping that high? I could not. For a human power with the the power of the Omnitrax, though, 
Man, you can do anything. You can do anything you want, brother. Brother Bear. Uh, the art style is different. I thought it was a little more, um, like Americanized in a way. I thought like he was, he, he looked a little older. He was a little longer. So I don't know if the series was rebooted, but this might be going off of that reboot art style. I, I'm playing on Stadia. There, there seems to be, so I was given another month to like check out the service. There seems to be a little bit of a child theme. By that I mean it looks like they are going specifically towards like maybe children will like this service. And I'm not saying that to be mean at all. I'm saying that they have put a lot of children games on the service since last I was a member. Uh, I am a 30 year old man, so I'm not super de duper interested outside of the novelty of, of playing them on the YouTube channel. You know, these are not games that I would ever play. And I know what you're saying. You're saying, Brian, does, doesn't that go against the spirit of Give It A Shot? Aren't you supposed to be playing games that you would be interested in? And to that I say this is this would honestly be the first time I ever thought about it like that. But you might be on you you might be right. You might be onto something. You know, maybe I'm not getting as much fulfillment out of it because I'm picking games that I think, you know, they're like I said before, novel experience. It's you know, wouldn't it be funny if a 30-year-old man played this game for children nice. rather than wouldn't it be interesting if I looked at my library already filled to the brim with thousands of games and tried to find something that I would legitimately enjoy get something out of and I'm kind of going through this in my head right now and I you know there there are too many games in the world and life is too short to just play whatever is available all the time, you know, whatever's new, whatever's fresh. Maybe we should just focus on games that, well, maybe that'll be the theme going into, uh, going into next year. Because this year's kind of like, the content schedule is kind of made. Anyway, this has been a great little, uh, soul-searching episode of Give It A Shot so far. Hello, Ben. Hi, Ranger Ryan. Huh. How are you? Oh, we know it, but Hex and how do you know? Whatever you met Don't tell me. Heroes always come out on top. We met a guy named Kevin. Does he turn into eleven aliens? And is his last name eleven? If that's true, and I find out that during this gameplay, I will quit playing. Uh oh, that's a problem for later. First, I have to get to the radio tower. Okay, let's get up to the radio tower. Great, we got that all fixed up. Oh, that's right, I gotta take the trash back up. I'm hearing my neighbor do it right now. Diamond Head. Alright, now I'm in the... Upside down, uh... Different dimension, uh... I don't have my bearings in this world, I don't know the rules of it. Great. So are they different, like... Oh, so this fire boy has a double jump. Are they aliens that he's buddies with? Is it, um, what am I thinking? Is it, um... Okay, is it, if, you, if you've read or watched oh, Fairy Tale, is it like... Lucy who can summon but she's she's literally borrowing the summon spirits from a different realm 
for like a little tiny bit using the keys is that, is that kind of thing so is Ben turning into an alien that is an already established person is the alien who is already established entering this realm to help out or is Ben like this guy's a part of an alien race of fire people so now I can turn into one of them, but it's still Ben. And then he named the fire person that he can become Heat Blast. All right. I guess I really don't care. At the end of the day, I don't really care. Uh, it is just, it's food for thought. It is a conversation piece. I need to light the three goo balls here. I'm sure I'll be met with some adversaries. Kind of combo that into you know we got some basic combo systems here. You know it's not uh, it's not bad or anything. It's all right. Kind of reminds me a little bit of and I haven't I played these for like two seconds, but it reminds me of Skylanders where you put the thing on a portal and the thing on the portal has like two unique moves to it. Or I guess any other game. Of this ilk, where I've it's got like, a fireball with your name on it. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm not gonna beat you up. I don't have to. I'm just gonna come fight. over here and do this thing. Okay, so we uh, went into the mystical realm and we've acquired firepower. I am so incredibly hungry. Great, I gotta cause a forest fire here. Can I? No, it won't let me. Well, that's very responsible of the game to not let me uh, burn down the entire forest. All right, hello, ranger. Excellent. It all. I can help. Oh, I will. Yeah. Great. We got 15 mountain coins. Alright, let's clear the road for Ranger Rick. All the coins respawn. I'm certainly not going for all those again. Uh, we'll, we'll clear the road and then we'll be done. It's about time for some... for some lunch. I explained it in, hopefully, an earlier episode. If not, I'll explain it here. I uh, I kind of ran out of time for the Stadia. It was very generous of them to give me a month. I, I knew that the month I'm recording all these was going to be very busy, and I was gone for a majority of it. So now I'm here doing these, and I have... You know, this is the start of it, and I have five days to record as much as I possibly can from Stadia. And I don't want to say like, oh, I was really irresponsible with my tie, but I, I need an extension. You know, I'm just gonna hit it up as much as I possibly can. Do as many games as I could. Okay, great. We got 15 more coins. And what's worse, in these five days, I have uh, a birthday of a family member. I have an in-person interview with something else. And, I mean, Lord knows the lawn needs done. We planted a tree yesterday, so I'm kind of, like, involved in that. I gotta go mulch that tree and everything. You did it, Ben! There's some rough... Leave it to me. There's a lot, lot, lot going on. Don't pause it to give me 15 more coins. Hey, combat power boost. Hey there. I can't see people enjoying this game that much. Even if I were a kid, I would have to be a really big fan of Ben 10 in order to like be into this. Great. There's that combo. 
Or if I were a young adult playing on the 360, this would have to have a really easy gamer score boost or a really easy platinum trophy to get if I were to be yeah. into this at all. And I know what you're saying. Well, Brian, you know what? You're not just you're, you're just not the age group. You're clearly not a fan of the source material. What are you doing? But I'm saying take the source material out of this game put a completely new spin on it, would you enjoy this game? You know, be honest. The answer would very likely be no. It's it's still this All right. generic by the numbers not not even visually interesting action platformer. There's, there's just nothing here. In fact, I'm I'm betting that what they're banking on to sell any copies of this game would be, well, you know, it's a Ben 10 game. People buy it because they like Ben 10. It doesn't have to be good because it has a property that's already established. Oh, I didn't see their names if they were number puns. Great, we got 25 mountain coins. Uh, okay, fine, we'll do this part. There's old Diamond Head again. Got a high defense stat. A mysterious door leading to a Lord Decibel. You just bend all the Lord Decibel. That's fun. I'm assuming he named himself. Okay, okay, so we, we have to jump over these. Yeah, okay. That's it. Little boss battle, maybe, at the end of that. I better keep an ear out for Lord De first. Okay. All right, everyone, I'll walk and talk through the outro, but we are very much done here. This has been Ben 10 Multiverse of Madness. I forget what it's called. I'm playing on Google Stadia. It's it's uh, it's not uh, very I, fun. It's a generic platformer with a property that's popular. It wasn't enjoyable, and I don't see it being enjoyable unless you are the hardcorest Ben, Benniest, Tenniest fan out there to get something out of this. That being said, thank you for joining me for Give It A Shout. I'm going to see you guys for whatever the next segment of this video is. Goodbye. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Give It A Shot. Give It A Shot is a first impression series where I play a game I've never played before and I see if it's worth playing a little bit more. Up today on Give It A Shot, Power Washing Simulator. We're going to clean the van. Looks good. Looks really good. I'm playing this on Game Pass for PC, and that's all I got for you. Okay. You know what? This might actually be a little bit better with a uh, mouse and keyboard. Let me see. Oh, baby cakes. Oh, I like. Yep. That's it. Let's do the window. What is two? Whoa. What? Oh, baby cakes. Should use that all the time. Oh, I see. So the, the wider a cone, um, the less powerful the wash is going to be. The more passes you got to take. Should we open up the garage door? Maybe have a little ventilation in here? I mean, yeah, I know it's just water at high pressure, but even then we can get some water flowing out of the garage. Up to the, the side. Okay, let's get around here. We are running 1440p. Getting 60 FPS out of it, not too shabby. This is working. So 
so around the corner there I'm seeing like some some hardened scum so to speak this is good we do just like a really quick run down with the wide nozzle then we'll we'll do some fine detail over the rest of the job do I have a like a time limit what are, what are we doing here change stance oh nice Okay, there's some removal vein on so many they're finally going. Whoever moves there is gonna need a quality pressure wash. Okay. Well that's good. There we go. See that's what I need. Nozzle, yeah. Let's try that. Here we go. Let me make sure my customer's getting the best possible power wash. Yeah, this is the kind of junk um, I see on TikTok that I really enjoy. What I really like is seeing the, the ones who detail the cars after they're like sold or whatever. I mean, that is a lot of fun. Hold up. There we go. Can't hide from me. There we go. Okay, back up. Yes, yeah, it's fun. It's methodical. It's it's cleaning up in a video game. Something that I've uh, I've never tried to hide the fact that I like doing. Yes, yeah, is great. I mean, this is a fun game being sarcastic at all. I'm really enjoying my time with this. Wait a minute. There we go. Gotta get around there. Every little nook and cranny. Grill's all well done. Let's get the, uh, Window here. Ooh. Whoops, I meant to rotate it. There we go. Sweet. Okay, now here's the rough stuff right here. I definitely need- Oh, look at this. Can I get right on top? There we go. Do you know that business name or do you need to think some up? I mean, I'm phenomenal. I thought of routing Thomas for that Tyler, she never looked back. Well, you sound like you know what's up, and that's always nice, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm good with this business name of whatever it is. I forget what it is. It's on the truck. Oh, yeah, we're doing a really good job. Like, this is the service that we're selling, so we naturally should have a very nice looking truck <laughs> okay yay job complete oh wow there we go yeah it's our initial coat i remember doing all this that's wonderful yeah getting all up there perfection clean the back garden yeah i would love that Oh, this is a, a slam dunk of a game. Whoever thought of this. I know it's a meme game and stuff, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, you'd think, like, well, it's, you know, it's not really fun. But it is. It is quite fun. With as big as this garden is, I'm sure this will be our last job before we leave.
Now, if I step on these rocks, do they revert back to their previous state? That might be really stinky poo poo. No, I'm sure we have clean shoes. Oh, that's looking like real nice. There we go. Well, gosh, we're already here. Might as well grab that. We're getting some achievements. That's always nice. We should put this in VR. I've been playing a ton of VR lately. I think that would be really fun. Uh, yeah, let's stand up. Let's go along the... Like this, you see what I mean? It's a beautiful brick walkway. I mean, I can see why they're paying the big bucks to get this washed. I have pressure washed uh, one deck in my t in my days. And it was a lot of fun, but my shoes got positively ruined. I had no idea my my shoes were going to be ruined on that day. Now, that was a bummer, because I really liked those shoes. I remember thinking, well, you know, maybe I can wash them or whatever, but they... I don't know. I don't know how to wash shoes. It didn't seem possible. I cut my loss of this. Well, I had a good time pressure washing, so... There's my reward. By eternal. How did they let this get so dirty? Listen, you know, we're not here to victim blame. We are here to wash. Okay, wait, did I not get over here? Wait, get out of aim mode, please. Is there anything else? Oh. Okay, at the very bottom. Oh, you know there's gonna be some baloney there. Nice. Oh, well, would you look at all this? Yeah, we almost got the lawnmower. That's all fine. You know what? Let, let's cover the, the fence. Let's do like a 25 degree nozzle for the fence. That's what I thought. We go getting nice and close. Okay, not that close apparently. Huh? It does have a multiplayer mode. I think that would be better. But I don't have multiple friends with Game Pass or computers capable of playing this or Xboxes. So, I am just simply unable at this moment in time. To provide that kind of content. Though if it was in VR, I would be all over it. I would probably do like a job a day in VR.
Here we go. Just trying to get around the pond edging. This is a big job. Gee whiz. Look at all this. If you like it all that much, it's yours. Nice. Okay. Last panel. Maybe. The panels have been the easiest part. You know what, let's do all the wood. Oh, we're making both of these one part? Oh no, probably the inside and the outside. Very, very tricky. Well, I had some rice for lunch. It was good. I used, instead of water, I used uh, low sodium, no fat chicken broth. For that little extra zing of flavor, I didn't have it with anything, I just had it. Um, I guess just all all rice alone, which is fine. Last night I had rice with some chicken and it was really good. Oh, look at this! Oh, a little bit of color. Yeah, again, what happened on your property that everything is covered in in ash, ash and dirt? Was there a fire? If so, I mean, I'm sorry. You know, I don't want to make you relive it. But at the same time, I need some answers. I understand that oftentimes I am using the wrong nozzle orientation. But, uh, especially as I'm looking down on the ground, I want to kind of get a little bit of the ground cleaned up. So that is why. Whoa, yeah, let's do that. There's always something to power wash. Yeah, it's kind of a fun idea for a game. Let's, uh, let's take off the, let's take away any sort of time limit. Let's give them a, a little bit of a, something to play around with. Easy, very manageable goals. I know that that chair isn't totally done, but I'm, I'm getting the urge, I'm getting the urge to move on. Maybe we'll do the doghouse because it's right up here. Oh, heaven help us. You it's so crusty. Was that wood properly finished? <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
I mean, gee whiz, like it did an atom bomb go off? Character is quite tall. The graphics are deceptively very good. Are there is there another small thing that we yes there is oh my gosh we're out of time okay i'm gonna do the birdhouse and then the episode is going to be concluded now this is easily the the lowest energy game i have ever had to play on give it a shot and a small part of me is grateful for that. Please. Yay! Okay, everyone, thank you so much for joining me for Give It a Shot. This was Power Wash Simulator. Deceptively very, very fun. I really enjoyed it. The graphics look good. It's optimized well enough for PC. I mean, I'm playing it here at 1440p, averaging 60 FPS. Maybe I'll play more of it. Maybe I won't. It seems like these are the only tricks it has up its sleeve. Hey, I don't know. Thanks for joining me for Give It a Shot. I'm going to see you guys next time. Goodbye.